Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to find the factorial of a number. So we are going to show you two different approaches. One will be a normal approach where we are not going to use recursion method and the other will be a recursion. So can you start? Yes. Uh, so let me tell you what is factorial. Factorial is, for example, the number is, we want to find factorial of five. Uh, in that case, the factorial will be uh, five into four 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Similarly, if you find factorial of any number, so you have to start from that number and uh, multiply it with all the numbers uh, until it uh, comes to 1. So you have to multiply 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's try to understand how to achieve this using Java. First, we are going to uh, do it with for loop and then we are going to do it with uh, recursion. So let's try to uh, write the logic. I'm going to show you uh, using for loop first. So I'm going to write a public static method and it is going to return integer as the factorial will be uh, integer. I'm going to name the method as uh, factorial and it is going to accept an integer, integer n. All right, so after this, I'm going to declare uh, a variable integer factorial and I'm going to initialize this variable with uh, one. So the initial value will be one. Now I'm going to write a for loop uh, for integer i equal uh, to one and i is less than or equal to n. So n is my five. Uh, as per our example, we took uh, n as five. So here n will be five and then i uh, plus plus. All right. Uh, and the factorial of the number is uh, factorial. So I'll take this variable and I'll multiply with uh, I. So I'll take existing value of factorial and try to multiply it with I. So it will be factorial into I. And I'll keep on doing this starting from one uh, till the actual number. So uh, I showed you the example for five in which we re reduced uh, uh, five into four into three into two into one. But in our logic, what we are trying to achieve is uh, one into two into three into four into five. So we are starting from one and we are multiplying till the actual number itself. And at the end, uh, the factorial variable will have the actual result, actual factorial of that number. So we are going to return factorial. All right, so this is how we calculate the factorial. Let's try to uh, print the factorial of five. So integer i uh, equal to five. For example, we want to find factorial of five, so number equal to five. And then I'm going to call uh, our method, which is factorial method. So I'm going to declare a variable factorial is equal to and call the actual method and pass the value of num. All right, so I'll get the result in factorial variable and I'm going to print it uh, using SYS out. So let's try to print factorial of number number is your value so value will be in your factorial value variable so i'm going to print this so let's try to see if factorial of 5 is printed uh, correctly so factorial of 5 is uh, 120 so factorial of 5 is 120 similarly if i just change the value of uh, 5 to 6 so I'm going to find factorial of six. In that case, it is 720. So we covered uh, how to find factorial using for loop. Now we'll see how to find factorial using uh, recursion. So let me write uh, the method uh, to show you how to find using recursion. So it is going to be a public um, method and it is again going to be a static method uh, returning integer uh, as uh, the earlier method. And this time I'm going to name the recursion method as factorial uh, recursion. And this is going to accept integer n, the same as above. Uh, the only difference is we are going to recursively call this method until we find the factorial. So for a uh, recursive method, there should be a base condition. Base condition is where your recursion stops. So your recursion stops whenever n is equal to equal to zero. Whenever n is equal to equal to zero, I'm going to stop my recursion and return the base result, which is return one. So we know factorial of uh, zero is one. So we are returning one. Else we are going to uh, call this the same method recursively. And to call the same method recursively, we are going to uh, return 
and we are going to uh, n into as we know to find factorial of uh, 5 uh, we have to multiply uh, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so we need to reduce uh, n by n minus 1 and then call the factorial recursion method so i'm going to call the same method but with n minus 1 so i'll uh, reduce 1 from the actual input and then call the recursion method and the recursive method will stop when the n is 1 so when n reaches 0 it will return uh, 1 so let's try to uh, call factorial recursion and see what it prints so instead of factorial i'm calling factorial recursion and i'm going to print the result itself so we are trying to find factorial of 5 first so let me run this using recursion so you can see factorial of 5 is 120 and similarly i'm going to uh, find the factorial of 6 so it should be 720 as we saw earlier as well. So factorial of 6 is 720. So that's it for uh, factorial using normal and recursive methods. Yeah, thank you. It's working as expected. So that's it from this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So that will motivate us to create more videos like this and share the knowledge among our audience. That's it. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.